No. No pushing. Dan? Hey, Renee, how are you? We're taking our gumball machine to Dan David's, a collector of all kinds of vintage items. OK, well, this is actually a peanut vendor. You see this little pie-shaped hole in here? Gumballs almost always have round holes. That's a big giveaway that it's a peanut vendor. Actually, it's a peanut vendor puzzle. Yeah, we're not going to need to work with that. This is a Columbus Model A. Christopher Columbus. No, not well, Christopher yeah. Columbus. How it, old do you think this machine is? Well, uh, we I, actually had a bet. He told me this is 1950s, and I told him it was 20s or 30s. He's laughing at me. It's 20s. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. 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 For 10 bucks, I couldn't make you say like it's 50s. For 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks. Well, you know. 1920s. Yeah. <laughs> So the good news is you have all the parts, minus the globe. Okay. But good news for you is I have globes. Oh. The globes are about $50. This is a reproduction globe. So can we put some peanuts in there and see if it works? Sure. Those are not from the train, is no? I hope not. OK, <laughs> just check. So we'll put our lid back on. There's a couple of pennies. Have at it. Let's do this. One penny of peanuts. Eat them. <laughs> I love to keep this, but I'm not gonna get rich selling peanuts. Anyway, Dan, what's the value of my machine? Well, this machine, as it sits with the globe, about $300. Wow, that's great. Hey. I guess I can buy my dad lunch with his 20, of course. Hey, Dan, thank you so much for all this good information. We really appreciate it. Glad to have you guys. Thank you. Great privilege to be here. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!